Gang, quick announcement on the Middle Class Famous Tour. We are going to be coming to a city near you for a live stand-up show and playing AYG with the audience. We're going to be in San Francisco, California, Los Angeles, California, La Jolla, California. And we'll also be in Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, and over there to Roseman. And that's just to May. We're going to be adding some dates. It's going to be a fantastic time. Grab the squad. Come out and see us. Get your tickets. It's a good time. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Antony's Basement. Caught her upstairs rooting through the mail Uh at the neighbor's house. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. (laughs) He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international (laughs) businessman, and it doesn't matter how you get to laugh as long as you get it, and I got it this week, and payday's coming up. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. That one was a little undercooked, if you ask me. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby! And then Patreon.com is on fire. There's a sale. Everything must go. Get in now. Yeah. Uh, we're approaching our next goal, which Fuck. is the yeah the $10,000 block. I ain't got it, man. The $10,000 roulette spin. Uh, on black, that is. Of course. On black. Always bet on black. Shout out to Wesley Snipes. Uh, so check it out. There's you know over 100 uh, episodes of AYG and Hard Feelings on there. Check it out. A lot of content. Do it. Yeah. At 10 G's is going to be a real r- real bad timer right there. And if you're on the Patreon, you know he, he ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of not gotten it, how about a nice quick <laughs> shout out to our producer extraordinaire. That was mean. The magic man makes us all look good. My best pal in the whole wide world, and I love him to death. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Toby McMullen, everybody. Aha, uh-huh. what's up, dudes? What's up, T-Bone? Good to see you, buddy. Dude, hell yeah. I just want to say that Burt episode's cooking, and if everyone hit me up, I'm changing my fucking number. Ooh. <laughs> Kids getting real high class. I know. Real, quick. real hoity-toity. Who's hitting you up? It was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even call them, folks. I don't know. If I'm not calling them, I don't know who's calling them. I thought your name was Tony until a week ago. Yeah. Gang, this is a family episode where we got a little company in the building. Most of you love him. Uh, he's family. I don't know what to tell you. You can't pick your family. You no. can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family. You pick your friends, pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> That's it. He's got to go. Uh, I'm the on kind fire. Of little- <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Cousin Ian yeah. Fight Ants, everybody. Twice in the removed. flesh. Love you guys. Glad to be here. If you're watching at home, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Blur that out. They're not paying for that. <laughs> I lo- Dude, it's only a matter of time till he comes in here with his own brand endorsements and yes. starts plugging them heavy. With his own cigarettes. Yeah, that's Ludens, right. Cough drops, folks. Yep. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> To fly Ian's- back in time and delete that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you love them, folks. Ian's new energy drink, Red Faced. <laughs> Pick yourself up a Red Balls. <laughs> Is your sack red? Gives you lumps. <laughs> <laughs> red Face gives you lumps. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Buddy, uh, good to see you. It's been a while. We haven't seen you since Christmas. I know. Well, you know, Christmas came early this year because I'm back. Thank you for having me, <laughs> fellas. Uh, I love you. And uh, you guys say yous, yous and in Delaware sure. we say yuz. Ah, yeah, it's a little bit no of a difference. even more trashy. Same horse. I've never heard that in Delaware. Color. What? I never heard that in Delaware. What are you? What yeah. are you? What are you doing? What are I love yous. Love See yous later. We love do, yous. We'll, we'll, yeah. my family would do love yous. Yeah, love we yous. do love yous. Love yous. Love yous. I don't yeah. think that's a specific Delaware thing. I think it is. Love I've yous. only heard it in Delaware. Shout out to my noops, my clay monsters. You've only been there in Newark, so it's not saying much. <laughs> Newark. Oh, I'm sorry. Newark is Jersey. Newark is Delaware. Ooh. Ah. Speaking of branding as well, shout out to Blacklisted for the hat. Blacklisted this hardcore is guy. a band from Philadelphia. You're like an infomercial. <laughs> anybody anybody <laughs> else? Now. Anybody else you owe money to that you got to give a <laughs> shout out? Jesus Christ. 
Hey, listen, I know I ain't got the two grand, but I'm going on AYG. I'll Shout out to fun. Use Painting in Delaware. <laughs> I'm also for sure going to bleep that just because fuck you. What? No. Oh, everybody's you should got check that. them out. Everybody's got the guns They're out. They're a great band. Who would? That's not a that's not a Phillies hat. Black blacklisted. It's a Phillies hat, but the B is for blacklisted. Oh, it's a band yeah, for Philly. They're no longer together. I'm gonna blur wow. all your logos like a Snoop Dogg video. Oh my god! I can't <laughs> wait till next time I just wear shirts with so many logos on them. Yeah, you come in like a boxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fig Newtons just, on his glasses. I'm moving around so Toby can't blur me. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, Dressed like a big hamburger. <laughs> Sandwich board. <laughs> Just cat- it the He's going the to car wash. <laughs> There it is. Did you have you ever used the sandwich board professionally? I would have to assume you no. had to have. No. Never. Never. What about one of those signs? We ever the guy out flipping <laughs> the, the sign? signs? signs? Yeah, like TurboTax no. or whatever. Uh uh-uh. uh. You've done I some was shitty Santa promotion. Claus for the Salvation Army once. Where? Ringing the bell? In Delaware, Court ordered, I believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, I was a volunteer volunteer. I wasn't with Salvation Army. I did it on my own. <laughs> oh, my God. If you stand across the street, you can undercut them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they want a quarter? I'll take a nickel. <laughs> I went to Salvation Navy. Uh, hello? <laughs> Wait, yeah. what do you mean? I, in high school, I used to volunteer a lot. And, so you uh, actually volunteer for the Salvation? Mm-hmm. Were you ringing the bell or were you yeah, kids Christmas sitting on your time, lap? I was ringing a bell. No kids are sitting on my lap. Stop playing out your fantasies. <laughs> Can you sit right. on my lap? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't Let's know if you were the guy ringing the bell or you were doing something different. With no, it. I was ringing the bell outside of a Super G, getting everyone to What's come. A and Super G? Super Giant. It was a oh. grocery store gotcha, in okay. Delaware. Yeah. So yeah, it was fun. Went out to Acme, did that as well. I used to volunteer a ton up until like, before COVID, I was volunteering like every other weekend. It was awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, really I don't think it. I've ever volunteered. I want to get back into it. It's really fun. It's, it's been on my resume my entire life, my professional resume. Yeah? Yeah. Acting. What, that Microsoft Excel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proficient in PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that I, did, that I did a bunch of volunteer work, like really? for waiting tables and stuff. Yeah, they never check on that oh. shit. Dude I, dude, I went down south and uh, helped uh, tear out and... Patch up homes that got hit by hurricanes after Katrina. Are you stealing copper? Oh, huh? dude. What are you doing down there? Make a lot of yeah. money that way. You know? uh, yeah, yeah, this one's totaled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dean Shorts is going to cover it yeah. anyway. Stealing from a different house. Yeah. I thought it was damaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It was awesome. I loved it. I used to drive a, a van around the Bronx. That doesn't sound safe. Get Doing an, uh, right. Handing out food Picking to the up homeless. Picking up kids. Yeah. Where'd you handing get the out food? what? Right. Handing out food to the homeless. Where would you get the food? Uh, it was part of uh, New York Cares. You would meet at like a place. You'd load up the van with food, and you go around to these like drop-off places. Uh-huh. And everyone lines up. You hand out the food, and uh, they called me the mustard man because I was the guy that handed out the mustard to him. Nice, he was a mustard, specialist. Gave, <laughs> mustard, <laughs> gave you the big job. Yeah. Mustard and a cigarette. No, it was fun, man. <laughs> well, that's pretty addicts nice. Come man. back and they ask for more oranges. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, if you you want like sweets when you're on drugs, drugs. come down from drugs. Ah. you know. I would know. I'd never come down. <laughs> I like to keep it right up there, folks. Still love sweets. Yeah, you and your weight. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you are cousin Ian. I swear Woo! to God. He's also been trying to horn himself in on the fucking Disney trip, by the way. Oh, What's yeah. going on with the Disney? When we go yeah. to Disney? When Disney. we go into Disney? His pitch is just this. Yeah. yeah. Like huh? Am I uh, right? Yeah. I've already... I saw him at the club the other night at the Mickey Mouse ears. God, I, I was just going to say I already bought the ears. God damn it. Have you ever been? Uh, I went twice in school. We had a Florida trip. You went if you... I mean, everyone went, but I almost didn't go because I got... I was one detention away from getting Not kicked off the Is this trip. elementary school or high school? Elementary school. Really? You went in elementary school? You were getting On detentions in elementary trip? school? I was a bad kid in elementary yeah, school. Yeah, what the fuck? I, I didn't know they had the detention in elementary I had to change my group of friends, and it was a blessing because I changed my group of friends. They kept stuffing me in a locker. still friends with them to this day. Shout out what about the old Justin crew? and Fred. Justin works for an industrial air conditioning company. The name of the... No, I'm kidding. We'll put his number up there. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what happened to the old crew? Oh, man. Trouble. Really? Ooh, wrong yeah. side of the tracks? Wrong side of the tracks, buddy. Don't uh, want to get into Who has it. wrong side of the tracks friends in elementary school? This guy. What could they have been doing that was so bad? Oh. What got you to detention? Uh, fighting, acting out in class, talking back. Um, <laughs> Having a mustache at eight. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking out the faculty. Re- refusing to take a jean jacket. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know? Sir, you can't get, uh, sir, yeah. you can't smoke it. Smoking yeah. in the faculty lounge? Yeah. yeah. Hey, how you doing? I got my social Mr. studies Mr. Whitney, you got a light on you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I would ask so many questions, they limited me to two questions in class. You had to be What were you on? Horrible. You were on Ridlin? What were you on as a kid? Nah, just start naming them. I was on everything. <laughs> everything but roller skates. <laughs> yeah. That's a Goldman line. <laughs> everything but good behavior. Yeah. Fucking pill bottle. Everything, yeah, everything but the honor roll, I think. Yeah. No, some of the bad kids were trying to get me to give them my, my Ritalin, and they would give me weed and, you know, seven, you know typical seventh grade stuff. Yeah. All right, seventh Smoking, grade. Smoking, okay. you know. So in seventh grade, your school, a public school in Delaware. No, I didn't go to public school. You it went to like a private a Catholic school. school private okay, Catholic, you went to a Catholic. Yeah. It makes more yeah. sense. They would do a trip where you went down to Disney World. Yeah, and it was like an in, it was incentivized to make sure like you got good grades. You had to have a certain grade point average. Who paid for it? Did the, each individual parents have to pay? I think it was paid by the I don't, I don't know. I think it's pretty by good. The we took a uh, big old bus down. Wait, you drove down? What? Oh yeah. Oh, that's not oh, cool. Yeah. That's what not do you think? Cool. You were running drugs, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, were a we fucking were mule. It up. Yeah. I know. It's it's on a made me swallow like a bunch of water balloons before <laughs> yeah. I went down. <laughs> Puking in a motel bed. I thought we were auditioning for Double Dare. Yeah. I have some information that may change your desire to go to Disney World ever. Why? You can't smoke. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's there not is, true. There is smoking sections. Oh, if they could sex yeah. traffic kids at Disney World, we could right. smoke hey, some Bolt, fucking burnies. I didn't say that, all right? <laughs> all right? When, company man. Speaking of which, when are we going? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. there's certain places you can smoke, yeah, for sure. Dude. There's like one or two in each park, and they're very small. I'm and they're, smoking in They're line. hidden behind trees. Are you kidding me? I'm smoking on Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we wait until after the- You can go on the rise. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be a quick trip through fucking Magic Woo! Kingdom. You guys got any new construction starting <laughs> oh down there? Oh, my God. Soon? Hey, we're going to need some fucking cranes on the monorail. Maybe. We, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be me. It's going to be me, Ian, and Toby on your back in the lazy river <laughs> going down the white water ramp. <laughs> there she blows. He ate two goofies. <laughs> um, maybe we wait till after the casino thing. How are we supposed to go down and have a good time? We got that hanging over our heads. What, the casino thing? Yeah. Well, the casino what? thing we can do in a night. No, I'd say I do the it. casino thing on the way to Florida. Are you kidding We're me? I'm not driving to Florida. What? Yeah, do what the fuck? This isn't Father Dirtbags or wherever <laughs> yeah. the fuck you went to school. <laughs> but that's Our Lady of, of No Money. How long was the trip? Seven <laughs> days. Our Lady, Our Lady of No Money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting steamrolled over here. <laughs> Saying IOUs. Ian was from- <laughs> <laughs> Saying I owe you. You were probably on some fucking no fly list or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Well, dude, one kid I uh, bullied me and I punched him in the back of the head before the trip. Who rabbit punches and somebody? Then, uh, it's a kid. Oh, dude. Well, one of the construction workers that was doing work at the house told me if you get bullied, you just run up, punch him in the back of the head. And so I, I don't did. Think he was a construction worker. Uh, well, yeah. some vagrant. That was yeah. Somebody your garage. mom took in. <laughs> just because just, just he fixed your mom's bed. Yeah. <laughs> what, one of my uncles for the week yeah. told me. <laughs> so I hit this kid and uh, we ended up becoming buddies on the trip. You know? Yeah. Threw him in an alligator pond on the way. <laughs> no, Do you not. still talk to I him? I say his name. No, no. No. Yeah. No. I only talked to three of the kids I went to grade school with. Still friends to this day. So you went in seventh and eighth grade. Weddings. Yeah, and then in eighth grade, I went down as like a, um, I guess you went twice like a in the chaperone. same year. You went as a chaperone. Yeah, like they they had maybe like four or five eighth graders that went with the seventh graders, and when they'd go in groups, That's what like they the eighth grader anyway. would like, you know, yeah. he was wearing a helmet, leader, you know. <laughs> Yeah, making the decision. I was a big shot at Epcot. I've already been there. Oh, you know? man. Mm-hmm. The only kid on a trip sitting in a car seat. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a diaper. I'm like Stillwell in yeah. a league of their own Just running hit, up the aisle. Hitting everybody in the back of the head. <laughs> Madonna stink. wants to beat you up. <laughs> you stink. Gina Davis chasing you around the bus. I say uh, Atlantic City Casino, you win Amazing time in Florida. You lose. You got Florida to look forward to. Yeah, it's not I mean, a bad idea. The, the only problem, the only problem with planning the the Disney trip is we had it on the books. We had to move because we're going to California next week. Yeah, Cali. it's supposed to be t- this week, I think. Um, so that was the only thing we had to change it. But it just takes way more time to plan that. You need to plan that, and you know, you can't just fucking get yeah. up and go. We can get up and go to fucking AC tonight if you want to. No, that's all right. You want to jump the gun? Wow. Let the money go. Mm-mm. Wow. Right? That might entice them to join. 
And we go, it's already in the can. Oh. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, I wouldn't be able to poke yeah. her face and that. The next you kidding me? Five weeks fully oh, sheet God white. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to fucking are you garbage. <laughs> the goddamn Patreon. <laughs> and if we won, I wouldn't be able to do it. Desperately begging I'm already thinking about Patreon. what I'm going to blow the money on. What? I don't taxes. know. Taxes. I hope. I hope it's taxes. <laughs> oh, I got to call my tax guy. Mm. Same tax guy. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Everybody uses it. Wow. Well, this guy's great. Yeah, he's all right. I'm writing off everything. All right, Ian, relax. Are you ta- sorry, are you, sorry, do sorry. you talk to him or do you talk to the assistant? Oh, I talk to him. Really? I talk and to him, too. too. You do? You're just yeah. a new bozo. Oh, yeah, buddy. man. Yeah. You haven't got past the secretary yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting in the lobby. You even got past the door, man. <laughs> I'm waiting in the lobby with flowers and candy like an asshole. Uh, Gang, this is a family episode. It sure is. We have business here at 2 4. Yeah. And that's when you sign up for the old Patreon there, as pre mentioned here on this particular broadcast. You get a question asked on the air. Whoa. Now, as KJ says, this is a memo from up top, we do have a bit of a backlog, but this is the best way to get on a show. That, or was hit not, us, that was not this week's memo. Or hit us with a strong heater on fucking Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> come, th- come through with some goods. Mm. Uh, all right, let's get into it a little. We got a couple of fucking heaters. This one, I don't know how this has never came up. This is for Morgan, first time, long time, $10 homie. Yes. Have you or anyone you know been an underage bartender? <laughs> what? Yeah. Back in the, like, there was you shitty can, bars where you could be like a fucking 18 or 16-year-old bartender. I think no. that's legal. I don't you know. Can start, you can in the state of Pennsylvania. I knew kids when we were sixteen for bartending. We would go At sixteen down off the boulevard. No yeah. way. Yeah, it was like an old cop. That's bar. like a farmer rule. Like you can I, drive at thirteen. I'm not That's saying insane. it was on the up and up, Ian. I mean, God. it was all underage kids and like retired cops. And I you think work at Kinsey oh. Arras? What the hell is <laughs> going on? <laughs> I was a <laughs> pinata, pinata man. God damn it! Couldn't get it out. Did you ever ever have a pinata at a an actual pinata at a birthday party? No, I went to one with a. Pinata. Yeah, I've only and been a pin a... the tail on the donkey. That was great. I never I'm remembering that. it now. <laughs> Woo! Really? Still remember the neighborhood. You were using a real livestock, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real donkey. <laughs> this donkey's got to be back by three. <laughs> he just keeps sticking his finger in his ass. Ooh, I missed again. <laughs> Ooh, I missed again. I bring my hey, own blindfold. <laughs> hey, pull your pants off. <laughs> Take that ball gag off. Pin the dick and the donkey? What? Uh, you can serve booze underage in almost any state. Uh, the one who plays it the most fast and loose is Maine, which across the board, 17. Let them fly. Oh, I like that. Wait. Mix it up, huh? You, so you got to be a 17-year-old checking people's IDs to see if they're 21. Sure. That's I crazy. Guess, yeah. You're not drinking. You're serving alcohol. How are you going to be a bartender and not drink? It's true. Why else would you get the job as a bartender at 17? Hey, man, I agree with you. You got a good work ethic? No, you're trying you to need to cash, Ian. It's a cash job. Walk it with is. Walk with a stack of tips. It yeah. is. Yeah. Have you ever bartended? No. Have you worked in the service industry? Yeah. Waiting Tons. tables? Waiting tables. Where'd you wait tables? Oh, New York, Delaware. Where'd you wait tables? Just table? naming states. <laughs> <laughs> Wyoming. <laughs> just states we've never been to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We're not going to go check you. I know. Uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Where did you wait tables in New York City? Oh, Lower East Side. A place called Casanese. No longer exists. Directly across <laughs> yeah, the street. You tanked them? From this kind of. I would give people free champagne and... Say, Champagne. welcome to New York oh, on oh Sunday brunch. My. You try to get, dude, one time I tried oh, to Oh, I bet you were a fucking scumbag. For a tip, and I would say, I would use their last name and say that it was mine. And, I, oh, my God, do you have a cousin? To try to get, like, a little Wait, relationship Wait, how would you find money. out his name when he swiped Off the, the card, card? Yeah, He would swipe the card to be like, all right, yeah. John Stevenson. Yeah. You'd be like, you're John Stevenson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm and Ian one, Stevenson. one time I did that, and I was like, oh, my God, I think we're ladies. Like, oh, I'm from South Africa. And I was like, well, all right. <laughs> the good part, part, <laughs> good part <laughs> of the bad part. What are we talking about? <laughs> Have you ever been to Disney World? Do you own any diamond mines by any chance? <laughs> oh, yeah. No? Then get the fuck it out. It was directly across the street from the school I taught at. I could see you Somebody. going up to tables and being like, yeah, but I talked to the owner. This bread's on a hail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hated servers like that. I'm not like supposed that. to do this, but yeah. you guys seem like uh, nice guys. Yeah. You were probably robbing well, that place Everything blind. was making them to be a, out to be a favor. Like, oh, trust me, I got you to try to get a tip. <laughs> Listen, we 86 the shrimp, but I, I, was I think told there's some back there. I'll take care of you. I was banned from pocket. getting <laughs> shift drinks. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you were banned from getting shift drinks? Yeah, at the end of shifts. Because you made a fool of yourself. No, because I was an alcoholic. <laughs> well, some would yes. say two go hand in hand. <laughs> two 
strangers walking the night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, all, it was wild, dude. We used to walk in and just do pill trades. It was fucking great. Yeah, it was a good time back then. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That was something, man. You're, go, you're going up to tables. Yo, you mind if I hang out for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my shift's done. Can I wrap this up with you? Seat taken? <laughs> <laughs> you pull it backwards, sit like AC Slater. <laughs> good news you is- You done with that? Good news is I got some dessert coming for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that you great. G- gave people free shit you weren't allowed to give them, free dessert. When I was younger and drinking, but when I was sober waiting tables, I was whew, company man through and through. By the book, huh? By the book. Get Loved you. it. One, one of my favorite jobs I ever had was uh, I was a server at this place in Wilmington called Eclipse. It's 500 North Union Street. <laughs> Pretty Wilmington, sure that's a Delaware. strip club. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the cheesesteak egg roll. It was so fun, dude. Yeah, it was awesome. I never really waited. I bust all growing you up. You were in and out. Yeah, no. You weren't really in the biz. Dude, we did it in college. You were bussing tables in college. Bussing tables. Yeah, I was the only in bus boy. Jesus, I used to really? make so much Fucking money. Head injury, Harry over here. What the <laughs> fuck? It was a great place. Bussing tables. I would make more than the fucking. I would be the only bus boy. That's what every dirtbag bus and boy I would, says. Dude, That's they would get true. mad. I'm telling you. What? They would get mad. They'd be like, "What the fuck?" Because they'd be like, "It was huge. It was Portofino on Walnut Street. Remember that place? Wait, they split nice tips night. with nice. the bus boy? Yeah, I get ten percent of everybody's fucking." Thing really? Yeah, I think ten percent, right? That's the going rate. I don't rate. think we did. We bust yeah. our own tables. Some restaurants. We're talking about refined people. Oh, you were on God. pills. There was probably no restaurant. I was no. giving the dishwasher. Your mom's kitchen. I was giving the dishwasher a ride home. He was this deaf guy named Randall. He fucking ruled. <laughs> <laughs> he would rap, and it did not sound good. <laughs> I was at a blaster radio. <laughs> Cousin Ian. Woo. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens AG1. AG1 is the cool kids college. Yeah. As us guys who were on it. Mm -hmm. You know why I started taking Athletic Greens? Why is that? Because I was finding, this is me personally, that in my workouts I was getting tired when I would bring Athletic Greens with me. I don't get as tired. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel good. It's got everything you need in It sustains me. Yes. And I'm doing it on an empty stomach in the morning. Helps Which the gut health. Gets me going Get through you. the whole day. 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics. <laughs> after, after, you're an idiot. Uh, best thing about it's like a multi. It's like a power multivitamin. It's got everything you need in it. That's, That's what it is right there, huh? It's lifestyle. Proof's right. in the pudding, baby. It's lifestyle-friendly. Whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, it contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. Delicious. It supports better sleep quality, recovery, mental clarity, alertness. Uh, it's got everything you need. What are we doing here? Just get involved with AG1. If you're working out, I'm telling you, give it a shot. It's fantastic. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the cold and flu season. Just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills or supplements to to look after your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Something oh, else. Oh, man, you are. Yeah, the bus boy usually gets 10% of everybody's take. And the runner, too, right? The runner, too. Oh, you got to tip the runner. runner. That's what I started out as. I started out as a runner and then worked my way up to a server in like a week. Whoa. Well, I mean, dude, it's not like you I got mean, to the top yeah. of fucking NASA. <laughs> Buddy, well, let me tell you. It was you uh, and Def Randy. That's... <laughs> I mean, what the... It wasn't the strongest company. Ian, I think we're going to go with Randy on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, you get brunch. Randy's handling the fucking oh, weeds, all right? God. Me and my fucking crew at the restaurant. Dude, one of the one of the dishwashers one time called me Tortuga. La Tortuga. Because I was very slow. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time I was busting tables at uh, this place called Giuseppe's, and uh, I was like eighth, seventh, eighth grade maybe, and I spilled water all over the ground. Oh god! Like the cup overflowed in the bus pan or whatever, and I had so I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I went and got like a rep before I could go get a rag and come back. This fucking heavy, this oh, heavy god. set waitress who was the biggest fucking bitch ate. Shit in the middle of the dining room with a full tray of food for like table 18. I'm just picturing Foley in a wig. <laughs> Dude, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, my friend. With the pants too high up. Uh huh. The ass the, really sticking yeah, out. Yeah, the flat ass and like the big, the, the fat but flat ass. The little server thing going all the way uh-huh. around. Oh, wearing yeah. the same pants for like two weeks. Yeah, there's oh, all like dumb. Been there. There's flower stains on them and shit. Oh, yeah. She 
Dude, you felt it in the back when she hit the <laughs> ground, dude. The fucking, the neighborhood rattled. And I knew right away. I heard it. I went, oh, that's me. That's guy can't be all over. Oh, it. my God. That's yeah. awesome. Who the fuck, fuck bus table 13? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my staff meal and get the fuck out of here. My two free slices. Man, the old the the older the older female server that's been there too long is really something else. Oh, Did a really yeah. good job in waiting on that with the girl that was crazy. But she was cool when you hung out. Oh, oh that's yeah, a good yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Waiting, waiting, waiting really did it very well. Yes. Fantastic. Movie. Holds up. Yeah. Watch I just it watched it like two weeks. Ago. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dude, you know what holds up as well? Kingpin. Oh yeah, one of the all-time it's a, it's great, a phenomenal. Yeah, good. God Just watch that. I think I watched it on a plane somewhere. You know what doesn't hold up? Weekend at Bernie's. I mean, did you expect <laughs> it to? It never held to begin with. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I at seven, I thought up. it was the best movie in the world. When that, when he's pulling the horse and carriage, <laughs> that's a good. Fucking, you know what doesn't translate? He Man, believe it or not. <laughs> really? You no. know what? Remember, they it was don't. Fun. They're all on Tubi. G.I. Joe, He-Man, Transformers, Generation 1. Who's oh, brutal. Tubi? I don't even know what that is. Me, I got every day. They got all the Columbos. Uh, sounds like something they're plugging you up to in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he had seven cc's of Tubi for this lord is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not good. We got him on the Tubi. <laughs> I don't even think, yeah, I don't think his insurance covers it either. <laughs> Can you do two Tubis? Nah, I'd kill him. <laughs> You're like Jaws taking barrels. <laughs> i never seen a guy take three Tubis before. <laughs> I'm still running around the hallway. He can't get me under control. I'm we're dragging gonna, those barrels. Eating we're gonna, jello. We're going to need a bigger Tubi. <laughs> 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 uh, we're having a good time, folks. We're having a good time. Uh, Cousin Ian stopped by. <laughs> he had presents for us, he said. I did. Well, that's what every dirtbag yes. dirt relative I believe says. was the same uh, wool you pulled over our eyes at Christmas, did yes. you say? You, you had just I, forgotten I our presents. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear, pew. <laughs> uh, no, I got you guys lighter covers. <laughs> So we can't wait to throw that out. Well, <laughs> well no. Just, <laughs> yeah, just put it in that white bin over there on your way up. No, I, you never lose a lighter when you got a lighter cup. I'm never going to use a this lighter with really a lighter This is really neat. Cover. We smoke a lot. You guys ask for lights. You also look like a gypsy with that <laughs> thing, dude. Yeah, yeah, There's cool. like turquoise and meds. It's like, it's first of cool. all, it's about three and a half pounds. It's, you'll never, you'll know where it is. It's a paperweight. You can use it to punch someone. It's fantastic. I got you one. You have more got... silver on you than a Navajo priestess, too, by the way. <laughs> hey, Sam Elliott, take it easy, will I you? Go, uh, easy. Uh, I yeah. love it. I got you one with a little feather and turquoise. Get this guy back to the res. And uh, I got Foley one that's a sexy grandma. Can't wait to give it to you. <laughs> well, theoretically, you didn't get this for us because it's not here. Wait, it's at my apartment if you want to come over. <laughs> Chief Ian <laughs> bombs a lot. <laughs> Keith loses hair. <laughs> chief Ian bombs a lot. I gotta talk to the. I gotta talk to the chief. I could see you doing that too, doing a DNA test to find out if you have any Native American in you, so you get your hands on a casino. Oh my god, yeah, it would be a dream. I just do it for the cheap cigarettes on the res. I'll bartend. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Can I have my shift drink now? <laughs> <laughs> and what's the pill situation around here? Are we doing swapsies today? <laughs> Doing swapsies on some lewds Ooh. at pre-shift. Oh my Talk God. about a dirt bag. Can you imagine? Uh, Amazing. I'd never worked in a restaurant where everybody wasn't taking drugs and it wasn't oh. just oh, completely. Totally. Everyone's fucking each other. Everyone's oh, doing man. drugs. Mm -hmm. There was fucking... always the hot couple. There was always the cool guy. The chef the cool is a girl. lunatic. <laughs> where, where did you fall in that? <laughs> <laughs> the, hot, the hot couple, the cool guy, and... <laughs> The guy sweating in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guy eating someone else's chicken fingers. Oh. Chief sweats too much. Man. <laughs> I would get real comfortable at places real fast. Uh. And just that's when the fucking eating off people's plates starts. Oh, yeah, I was doing When that. you don't give a shit. Like, because, you know, a lot of times the female servers are all tense. They're all a little bit younger. They're oh, smoke yeah. shows. Yeah. When you get comfortable with them enough to fucking eat some 50-year-old guy's burger right in front of them, that's when you know you've crossed the line. Time to start getting the applications out there. Have you, where Where would you eat the food? I would put it in my pocket and then eat it in the bathroom and then go down to the walk-in and drink Pocket the full beers. of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pocket full of. 
Me Where would you eat it? Uh, I would eat it um... on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do frequently. No, you've been. I, I just got to say, it has been awesome working the cellar together. It's really fucking neat. Foley's been crushing the stage, and um... <laughs> he stinks. Had to bring in an architect out here. <laughs> <laughs> we need some support. <laughs> To find you sign an agreement every time I get on there. <laughs> um, this is how crazy I am. I was mad he didn't compliment me. I didn't pick up on the joke at first. <laughs> He's like, Foley's been crushing. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I've had some good sets. <laughs> had some great ones. It's been very it's good fun. times, buddy. Awesome. Uh, it's been an honor to bring you guys on stage. It's very nice. Anywho, I would eat it when I dropped it off. <laughs> back back at- to the food. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking about our occupation. I'm going back to my passion it. project. <laughs> Eating leftover food from a stream. I would eat it as you cleared off the plate. Real quick. Oh, in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Wolf yeah, it down. Yeah. Would you ever do a yeah, mishmash? Put a sweet and low pack in there. Put it in a to-go box so you got a whole buffet sitting waiting for I've you. I've done that. Put it in the to-go box and put it up there. Oh, There's a lot yeah. of eyes everywhere. Some restaurants, nobody cared. You got to do there it There was quick. some that you really did. Dude, when I was in the back and uh, pulling the meats for- um, Is that what you I call it? immediately regretted that when I said it. <laughs> and I was back with the other bus boys yeah, pulling yeah. the meats. Yeah. Hey, you got to get the good shifts. You know what no, I mean? No, we, uh, we would pack it and hand it off to each other like a drug deal. Like you'd walk past someone and hand them a thing of meat, and then you just the other guy go eat it, and then you do that. You do that with like the cheeses or the meats and the bread. I was I, I never I never like proper stole anything like out of like I wouldn't like put like a steak in my thing and bring it home. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like you for, definitely did stuff like that. I mean, a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never did that. Thanksgiving walking with a case of lettuce. <laughs> I did one time. You got everything I half off. Home. <laughs> <laughs> this was my iceberg. Check the cameras. I came in with it. I mean, you really got to speed when you got a fucking plastic bag full of calamari. <laughs> That's the kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, I got to get home. Hey, it's just about eight minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> We're running red lights. E-brake turns around the corner. Oh, man. Where's that case of snow crab legs? <laughs> They're all sticking out of your pocket. He's got them all going now. He kidnapping lobsters out of the lobster tank. You say anybody, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Tape up their mouths and put them in the trunk. Oh, he's who he kidnapped. We got to kill him now. Oh, fuck. oh holy that shit. Hurts. That's great. All right. All right. This one's from Sharon, new Patreon member. First question Ever vacuum your bed sheets? Yeah. Whoa. That's great. Yes. You got to. Yeah. When you got a cat. Yeah, I vacuumed my bed sheets. I vacuumed the couch. Wait. Question: Are you vacuuming with the That's actual crazy. vacuum, yeah. or, or do you have an attachment? No, I, I'll put that. I'll, I'll put that on there. You're putting the whole vacuum on a bed. I'll sheet. put the vacuum on the couch too. And fucking, mm. That's hundred percent. You gotta have an attachment, dude. I mean, you're we you're have doing whole vacuum. You have attachments and you don't use them. No, dude. Because what do you mean? It's bigger and easier. You just do a couple passes on the sheet and you're out of it. Bigger yeah, and that's easier. Run all over the all over yeah, your it's floor. Over it's the covered floor. in dirt. You look like it's a fool. No, it's not. Yes, yeah, it. It's all. If it's in my apartment, it's all the same. That's not the case. It looks anything. like you're trying to de-ice a Silverado the way you're reaching <laughs> across the bed. Are you kidding me? This is just pure laziness. This is insane. Not, to not hook up the attachments. That's yeah, nuts. dude. You got. I you think got it works the- better. Because the attachments doesn't have the wheel inside that sucks everything up really good. There's or a reason the attachments are in there for yeah, that reason. I understand the that. The people at Dyson have done the work. I yeah. Have a Dyson? You think you know better than Dyson? I don't think I know better than Dyson, but I don't have a Dyson. When well, I get a Dyson. Eureka? Hoover? <laughs> Red Dirt Devil? <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Black and Decker? What Maybe are you working Indeed. with? Maybe huh? it's a Hoover. Yeah? Larry yeah. Hoover? <laughs> Whip and work? Dude, no. you, you're an insane person. Okay. To stand and ring, yeah. ring, ring, ring. use the attachment. Treat yourself. Okay. You know. That's it. banana. Treat I'll yourself. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. I thought it was the best way to do it. Have you ever done it to a coat? Yeah. Vacuumed a coat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We also have this thing that goes like that. It has like felt on the bottom. That's for the for the cat. Yes, I, use that I have on one of those. Clothes. That's great on the couch. Is it like a plug? Like no, no, it's not couch. plugged in. How often do you change litter? Say it on three. One, two, three. Once a, shit a in the month. Toilet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's it supposed to be? No, I do it like every other day. Okay. Yeah. How about you? You're not an every other day kind oh, of guy. Oh, no, she keeps that. Really? Yeah. I'm the litter guy at the house. No, yeah, I don't handle any yeah. of that stuff. 
I'm getting an automatic litter guy. I feed her every once in once in the morning Your when girlfriend? she doesn't feel like getting up. <laughs> <laughs> when there's enough left over. <laughs> Spraying her with a water bottle. <laughs> I'll come home whenever I want. I eat all the food myself. No. Fucking, he's on the couch with a laser pointer. <laughs> Girlfriends are yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I pay attention to you. <laughs> oh, man. Now get the butterfly. <laughs> now, I'll, if, if she doesn't feel like getting up, I'll get up and feed the kitty. Wow. But I'm not going near that the stuff. Year. That was in that litter was in our room for like a week when when her sister was staying in the room in the room, dude. I was wow. like, get the fuck out of here. You got to invest in an automatic litter cleaner. I know she's pushing for it. The fans out there, Venmo at Ian Dash Finance. Why? I'll film it. It'll be fun. <laughs> so you don't have one. I'm gonna get one. If it's somebody just, pays for it's it. It's just two with two cat no, I'll pay for it. With two cats, it's a lot. I mean, the thing gets full, you know. Every other day is a stretch. Dog shit's do really like bad. Every night. Dog shit's really bad, but nothing on this planet compares to fucking cat shit. It is vile. Well, you gotta get the the um um the litter that the deodorizer. We got all that shit. You yeah, sure? It's still it's not it's deodorizing. Yeah, what do you, what do you think? I'm well, then fucking... why does it smell so bad? What are you feeding that guy? Chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I have a three alarm fire chili cook off every weekend. <laughs> Mostly just hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> he loves Franks. <laughs> a lot of Old spaghetti. Chicken wings. <laughs> They're so wow. cute when they lick out of the water bowl. Oh, man. Cats are the best. Cats stink. Adorable. I'm a, stink. I'm a dog man. Shout you out to Hans. Stink. Head of security. We Get say, we, we say she's getting a little water. She had a little water. Oh. That's what we say. No. He that brought is... it up. No, we didn't. I go in. I go, look at this little guy. Yeah. He's just a little guy. I and say, no good drink. morning, little Hans. Face. Nice to see you. Get to work. <laughs> yeah. That's how you talk to a fucking German. How much money have you made today? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm working for you, Kippy. <laughs> You got to get a cat. Are oh, you fucking nuts? No they're way. They're the best. Cats they're the best. Hey, cat. Dude, they're so cute. Me and, and Ian two... have twinsies, cats. Yes, and the way they play with each other, it, you can't beat it. We're cutting this. What? I'm kidding. You got to. Oh, dude, dude so if it you get a cat with cold. your dog, your heart will be I would flutter. Never. I'd get another dog before I get a cat. Are you going to get another dog? Are you going to do two dogs? Can't have Hansi in there by himself. You don't want yeah. to be an only child. You yeah. don't have to be a school shooter or yeah. something like that. Or well, worse, I mean, you, me. <laughs> you weren't an only child. Like, oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was an oh, only God, child. Oh, God, my dog right. has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> has a friend named Venatio. <laughs> oh, man. You got only kid vibes. Yeah. Yikes. You can't tell I'm an only child. After Yeah, after knowing you for a Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah, you're straight crazy, dude. Yeah, I know. Hundred percent. It'd have been cool to have like a brother or sister be like, these people are crazy. Right? They would have hated you. You know? Brother, sister. Yeah, think about that. Look at it that you way. Would, he Thank would be, God he you wouldn't didn't. be Ian. I'd be a different person. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So it's good I, I was an only child. Either maybe more well adjusted or or even worse. I think it depends whether you were the younger. You would have done well as the older. As the older. Yeah. 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 yeah as a younger. Because we're all younger. We're bad news. Really? I'm a good kid. What are yeah. you talking about? A lot of comedians are, are the youngest. Yeah. Are they? Because you look, you're looking for the attention. I thought a lot of comedians are middles. No, I think it's younger. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> this guy with his subtle fucking uh, industry humor today. Sneaking it in. Fucking Danny Deep Cuts Don't over fire. here. Yeah. Hey, Road Dog Reggie, relax. <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> this guy talking. His lights is lighter. I know. Uh, you're going to love your lighter cover. I appreciate I, it. I bet 400 bucks I never see this fucking Never thing. see it. Took you six months to bring the fucking bathroom key back. I know. Also, we haven't gotten our Christmas gift, and it's March. What'd I get you? I don't know. You said it. Know. Oh, it's like oh, just got yeah, delivered. Candies. Whatever, whatever you lied about. I'm you trying did. to help you guys out. I decided you don't need the candies. So what'd you do with the candy? I ate them. <laughs> Gave them to my kid. He loves you. I would love to know how, how many Christmas presents each year you buy for somebody else and just end up keeping for, for your I own. get... Little candies, and I wrap them, and I give them to little shops in my neighborhood that hook me up throughout the year. Oh. I bring them to different clubs and, you know, give them, like, a little candy. He's thing. a nice guy. No, he's I low like rent. Do, he's right? always looking for a deal. Looking for an edge. What are you talking about? Meal. He's always trying to gain you're not, the You're not friends with, with your little shopkeepers in your neighborhood? Not that they give me discounts on anything. I am or, now oh, with yeah. the dog. The yeah, dog, the dog in the coffee shop is like Yes. You bring yes. them in? 
Yeah, that's encouraged. Dude, so you they, give you, they give does. you little, He's a latte man. They but. give you little discounts. You talk to them. Yeah, you get the you know, I'm friends with everyone. I love being friendly. And then at the end of the year, here. <laughs> I know you're, you know, Yemenese, but Merry Christmas. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Here's a fun size Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all the free coffee this year. No, it's nice. When Here's I go to my a nickel. Little shop, I walk in. They, Here's they, a half eaten Twix. <laughs> they give me what I want ahead of everyone else. And then, you know, it's nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Give it to my pharmacist, you know? Cool. Shout out Vivek, V&A Pharmacy. <laughs> no prescriptions needed. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wink and a handshake if you catch my drift. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be surprised what a pack also, of sour. Yeah, also <laughs> pack of sour you. Skittles can get you. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's from Bernie Sanders. Nice. Um, is it garbage to strip the bed before you leave a hotel? What? I don't even get that. I think that would be nice and classy. Yeah. Huh. To do what, that. strip it and put it all like in the middle? I for guess them? if there's like a lot of I throw stuff the covered in cum. Yeah. yeah, I throw the towels in the in the corner. I I try to put my <sighs> sure. I try to clean up nice. Don't what do you leave tip? We were just talking about this. What do you Ooh, tip? Interesting. Let's Nothing. do it like you stay a night or you know you know what do you tip? I admit either? I've been bad with he's, it. He's he's been bad on the road. I'm bad with it. Yeah. On vac when when on vacation. I give, we make a point. I give five bucks a day. Really? That's good. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I don't believe you. Really? No. Why? <laughs> You're notoriously cheap. <laughs> what do you mean yeah. I'm notoriously cheap? He was cheap. giving Snickers out to the other I give, I give candy to people. You, I, I, you've been trying to sell me a bike for like three weeks. I got you guys gifts. I was going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sell it to you. <laughs> I was going to give it to you for $750. Yeah. Hey, that's a steal. I was going to give it me. to you for a yeah. deal. Te technically, you're robbing me. Yeah, and it was coming with a helmet. What are you talking about? <laughs> and a lifetime of guilt I'm going to hold over your head. Yeah, how's the bike, Tobes? <laughs> Swear on your mother's life. Swear on my mother's eyes. <laughs> Five bucks a day. Say, it, say the whole sentence. Swear on my mother's life. I give five I bucks you. a day when I stay at a hotel. I believe I'm I a believe very you. good tipper. I He's also you. I've worked he also, in the industry. And he also rolls with the tell, who's a notoriously good tipper. Yes. Ah. Hey, yes. you only got to take care of the road. Take care of the people. Take yes. Care of the guys. Good of man. Of course. Yes. And I tip out. How much do you tip out comedy staff? At the club? We do pretty well on the staff. Yeah. Uh, yeah a lot. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do we do? You want to know what we do? Going rate for the waitress? 40 to 50. It's now 50. Since for the time. weekend? We, we're doing one night. We do one night. Ah, ah, yes. So we hit yes, them 50 yes. for we're the night. We're gunslingers in yeah. and out. We, yep. do, we hit them 50. We hit the waitress yep. or waiter 50 for the night. And then if the bar or if the security guard is helping with pictures at the meet and greet, he gets a dub. He gets a dub. Yeah. I, see, and here's the if thing. If we get something I, at the bar, the bar they get a dub. Gets I only get waters. So I'll give, you know, like if I'm just getting waters and I'm literally walking up or I'll still give like a 20. Sure. If it's a headline weekend, I'm giving uh, 50 a night or 100. Sure. Have them split it up. Yeah. You yeah, always yeah. got to take care you of always, the staff. You always got to take always, care of the staff. Always, always, Because they're the ones. It's also too like, this is a little behind the curtains, but like the staff, she has, she or he, the server has their own section already outside. Totally. So it's not like totally. they're just chilling in the green room yep. just waiting for you. Yep. It's like. They're leaving the people that are actually yep. paying their, you know, paying them yeah. that night. You always, so you always got to, you always got to take always. care of them. Yeah. Um, but once we started bringing Tommy on the road to open up, Tommy C. Tommy C. He uh, now there's four of us in the green room. Oh, Tommy, no tips. <laughs> so I'm learning. <laughs> so uh, Tommy, goes, Tommy I'm orders learning. three meals. He goes, I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tommy's ta Tommy take homes. <laughs> Alligator arms. Yeah. Tommy takeouts. Um, <laughs> Tommy Foley would have paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> Which means Kippy would have paid for this. <laughs> yeah. Tommy usually gets a hot meal. Yeah. So yeah. It, <laughs> it's his only of the day. Uh huh. So it depends on who, but he at least one shower. or two is ordering food, probably. Yeah. I might get something to nosh on, and mm -hmm. then I'll get a couple of beers. He might get a couple of beers, mm -hmm. but that's, it's real low, you know, low yeah. stakes. Yeah. But you got to take care of them. You got to. Always. Yeah. So five you, bucks a day, huh? That's, that's good. good. I'll do you five. Think? If I don't, I'll, I refuse to leave ones just because in my head it feels dismissive. Right. Yeah. So if I have like three ones, 
or a, and a 10, I'll just leave the 10. Yeah. Just to be like. Totally. And uh, I try to leave the room like nice. I'll, I'll I definitely. I never leave. If I have trash. I consolidate all the trash. Yeah. I never leave like a whatever, you know. Yeah, sure. that's why the sheets, I, I mean, I it depends what you did to it. If yeah, it's if you're trying to hide something up. to make it not look like you don't well, want to see. Well, how do you sleep? Do you do you untuck? Do you? Because uh, sometimes I'm rolling around and I got the I sheets untuck. all undone. The I'm pillows untucked. are everywhere. What do you mean untuck? Like how it's tucked underneath? Yeah, you. Untuck. Oh yeah, get rid yeah. of all that shit. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I also I think last no in Utah I did late checkout and I was late on the late checkout and the woman was like waiting so I gave her a twenty. I felt that's big, good. You, know? you got to take care of them. Yeah. Sorry, I was just taking a shit. When you take care of other people, you get taken care of later. It's good to put out karmatic good into the universe. I'm 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 big on that now that yeah. I have. So a where's my of fucking bucks. Christmas present, yeah. buddy? <laughs> save it for next Christmas. Yeah, right? Two in one shot. Yeah, you'll get two. You'll yeah. get two fun bite sized Snickers yeah. next year. <laughs> <laughs> Think about put that. Them together, that's Here's a whole your candy bar. Reese's Pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Hold out your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in the bag. Hey, it's fucking doing. Hold your hand down. Uh, I, I got a quick one that came across my, my board. Came across your Fire desk. Fire away, T-Bone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's from my boy, Willie Griswold. Okay. R- real name. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. A friend? She's a butte Clark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> He reached out to you and said, hey, I have an Are You Garbage question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fan of the show. He's, he works on the Bob and Tom show out there. In B&T. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, have you ever, have you or anyone in your family ever gotten their hair cut at the mall? Ooh. Yeah. I believe we might have mentioned this because I said that there was this one place uh, at the Plymouth Meeting Mall back in the day that was like hot. Like all my cousins went there. Everybody went there to get it done. It was like a Vidal Sassoon kind of vibe. Ooh. A barber shop, on the other hand, in a mall is superior trash. Yeah, anyone. With the yeah. thing out front spinning yeah, around? Yeah, no. Real out of it's place. It's always down chain. in the corner, like next to the Boscovs and yeah. the Radio Shack or something. Oh, yeah. It's always tucked away in that entrance no one goes to. That's a bit. I'm, I don't like doing anything that's inside something that, you know what I mean? Like, if in the real world they're standalone. Yeah, that I, I like. I can't go to a fucking I love Starbucks restaurant in a mall. Yeah, no, I can't go to a Starbucks in a fucking. We hit that cheesecake factory in a in the mall. Thought you're, it was you're nice. kidding me. You're not going to the Starbucks at a Target. Oh, all the fucking time, get what? some fucking coffee. That, that, that's like shopping. being like, I'm not going to a but Starbucks at, at a rest stop. No, if I'm at a Target, yes, then I'll go. But I'm not going to get my hair cut at the mall. Just, I'm not going to the mall only for a haircut. So the, the, I, right. think, I, think, I think I can interpret this. So let's say Kevin worked, uh, ha- had a job in the suburbs, and he was on his way to work every day. He wouldn't go to the Starbucks at Target That's to get his insane. morning coffee. He would go to the standalone Starbucks. Or a Donkey's. I would, but, I would I choose. Understand. But what if it's on the way? No, that's the, so the inconvenience one. of that's going weird. in. Yeah. The, the inconvenience of entering a Target parking lot. A Target parking through what? those parking lots. There's lights in those parking if lots. It's the on other the ones way. got drive then you got, then you got a 20 yard fucking. You got a 30 yard walk. That's in the, front the door. smart play because the other one with the drive through. Everybody take a drive through. So you go to the Target for the faster. No, they're all, they're always packed. That's they're insane. always packed. That's insane. That's why you become friends with them and they hook it up. Which That's why you give them a candy Starbucks. corn for, yeah. for a small yeah, bag yeah, of goldfish yeah. once yeah. a year. Yeah, yeah. You're you too can get free coffee. Hey, hold on. You know who's calling right now? A discount is oh yours. <laughs> Kippy, eat that banana right now. Never. I've never had a banana in my life. No. I swear to God. Yeah. What? Yeah. I uh uh uh. Do my it. wife was eating one last night, and she went in to kiss me, and like I even like. Why can't I you take a bite back. and try it? I don't. You want never to. even had banana runts. That's not a banana, but yeah, I mean, I've had banana, banana flavor. You've They're never had favorite. something completely different? Artificial banana flavor is A-OK. Yeah. You got to try a bite. I think, I think that, I think, yes, you you don't have to do it right now. I don't want to force you, but I think that's something you have to do. I'll do you it. Die. How about this? I'll do it when you lose 20 pounds. Why? When I lose 20 pounds, you'll eat a banana? Sure. So you're never going to eat a banana. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree to those terms. Shake. There yes. Fucking safest bet that's ever been made. I know. Buddy, I'm never touching a banana. <laughs> think I give a, hey. You think I give a fuck if this bold prick eats a banana? <laughs> and if you die, it doesn't count. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Low potassium kippy. <laughs> yeah, I don't give, really give a shit. Wow. Never had a banana. Why? It just never came up? Or never you have a across my It's a fucking weird Yeah, kid, I have really weird stuff with food. Odd. Like, what else? 
I didn't start eating. I'm, I, we just did this in an episode. Was this a? Was that a public episode? We did that. I can't remember. Yeah, there can I. Um, I don't think it was. Uh, I don't. Know, I real like I didn't start eating red meat till way later in life. Yeah, like mid twenties probably. Did yeah. Did you don't guys tell me, know any tell- kids who had to have the the plate with the dividers so their food wouldn't touch? Yeah, I didn't need it, but oh. I didn't mind it. What? <laughs> now I'm always mashing food together. Yeah, Wait, hold now, on. Now that I'm an adult, I'll have I'll do it. Hold on. How do you get your steak cooked? Uh, typically medium, but if we go out as as a group and we order as a group, it'll be medium uh, rare. He's a man about that stuff. I was gonna say, if but that's well only done, that's cool. only new. That's like all I'm rare. for me to order I'm, a steak at a restaurant is crazy. I'm steak rare, Pittsburgh blue, black and blue, charred, cold, red in the middle. All right, McConaughey. <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> hey, true detective, relax. <laughs> You're twirling a beer can. I want it to still be able to lie to me when it hits the table. Damn, I want to feel it's, it's a pulse. Circle. Circle. <laughs> Fucking bozo. Uh, this might bring the vibe down a little bit. Oh, but, great. Oh, let's God. do it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's shift the gears someone to sad. The, yeah, someone pulled the e-brake. Yeah. Big man, Ooh, hit it. Hey, hit this exit Hey, we're having too much town. fun. The yeah. thing with the food. Here we go. The separating of the food. The first time I, when I witnessed that, like, exper- Don't saw. Don't like. True in poverty hospice. was this this really really poor family that lived in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby, sometimes I'm too quick for myself. Woo, that kid don't need a banana. <laughs> yeah, fuck your Woo. potassium, all right. It's got all the electrolytes you need. This kid's like a bottle of fucking Gatorade. <laughs> God, yo, I gotta, Whoa! I gotta pause the camera so I can wipe Foley's brains off the walls. <laughs> Pink mist. <laughs> he just lost twenty pounds. <laughs> Fucking head fell off his shoulders. <laughs> My wife's trying to climb out the back of the studio. <laughs> Good piece God of business. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> anyway, next question's Foley's fucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what were you saying, big guy? Yeah, hold on. Let's get it back to sad. <laughs> I was saying at the bottom of my neighborhood was like a bunch of like older, shittier houses that, that when we lived in Wilkesbury. Uh-huh. And we used to pick this kid up. He went to he went to my school, but I think that was the only time he ate that was that day at lunch. And it was it was like O C D. He ate one thing here, one thing there, one thing there, one thing there. And if they ever touched, he like like freaked out in the lunchroom. Or if anybody ever like went to touch his food, he would freak out. Could you relate? <laughs> yeah. I was the one trying to take his food. <laughs> You're not gonna eat that cornbread, are you? <laughs> it touched the peas. But we did it. Shaking the tray. I, shaking I, the tray up. <laughs> what do you oh. know? You can't eat it. Nummy num num num. We saw hungry, hungry hippo at the cafeteria. <laughs> table. <laughs> It's going to snow shovel. <laughs> we did have a kid in my third grade class that if you touched any of his food, he wouldn't eat it. And that was, I did that almost every That's where day. I did my best work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like for snack time, when he pulled out a cupcake. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's all you had to do was just put your I mean, finger on it. what special needs I, school did you go yeah. to with these freaks? What are you talking about? <laughs> my God. They weren't freaks. Yeah. There was you another must... guy who wore a face mask. Yeah, you must have been the <laughs> God King. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A face mask. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured like Freddy, like a Jason mask or something. Uh, He's getting wheeled but yeah, that kid Joel. I, I remember like realizing, like, oh fuck, this kid's fucking hemmed yeah, up. Why don't you name more, give him away more of his identity? I don't think he's still with us. <laughs> <laughs> so he had the nutrients to survive this long. <laughs> to spare those cold winters in Wilkes-Barre. After three years of me, <laughs> kid never got a piece of protein. <laughs> Must hate a burrito. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. God. Any other, um, you know, tragically devastating stories you want to bring up yeah. <laughs> from my childhood? Uh, yeah. Any kids have leukemia growing up? Or yeah, my best friend know? died when I was in kindergarten. Really? Yeah. From what? Uh, I ate him. <laughs> <laughs> we were in kindergarten, and I started going to his house, uh, and I went to his house every day. And was like, come out and play, come out and play. And every day his mom told me no, and this went on for like six months. And then finally she called you my mom. You couldn't get a hint? I, was, I, didn't, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And she called my mom. There's was an like, ambulance out front every day. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is he doing in there? I've got a I've generator for his dialysis one, machine. You have. We need one more for kickball. What's this, what's this kid's deal? 
<laughs> she called my mom and said, tell, tell him not to tell him to stop doing that. I guess he was getting worse and worse. I didn't know he was sick. Yeah, it was the cancer. <laughs> and then like, hey, the fat one keeps eating our bushes. Can you keep him <laughs> off the property? This kid's a billy goat. He keeps rummaging through our trash. Ah, uh, no, but then we moved. And then one day I was like, Mom, when can we go up and see your And she was like, oh, you remember that funeral we went to a couple weeks ago? That was his. He passed away. Oh. Wait, you went to the funeral and didn't remember? <laughs> no, I, was too I busy eating the buffet. Went. Yeah, my parents went. Where the finger foods? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Dude, that's so sad. <laughs> Little fat kid, no friends. What are you going to do? What if to bleep that name? Are you telling us your autobiography? <laughs> Bleep that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one's from Luke. Ever when you use shoot a- this much, you can't miss. Woo! Uh, ever use a t shirt as a pillowcase? Sure. Yes. I did it not too long ago. Yeah. Big fan of that. Big fan. Especially it- if it's a soft t shirt. Oh, oh, man. Babe. It's like it's just perfect for it. Plus, you can put them on a bunch of pillows, pretend like you got friends. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of body pillows. Hey, Steve. <laughs> I'm having an orgy tonight. Watch a movie together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's trash. Uh, all right. Have let's... you ever. Oh, I don't like this. Have you ever taken clothes in a towel and used that as a pillow? Uh, yeah, definitely clothes been hemmed up. Use yeah, clothes as uh, yeah. when you know when you're jammed up. Use towels. Have... I've used towels as blankets before. Oh yeah, like big beach towels for extended periods mm-hmm. of time. Especially when you're in, dude, in the middle of the night. Especially if you're drunk and you're hang, you're like sleeping somewhere, and you're like at your boy's house in the couch or the floor or something. And uh, you'll wake anything. up looking for a blanket, dude. You got like a dish towel, oh, an yeah. old shoe. Yeah. You're like, fuck, anything you Kleenex. can do to cover your body. <laughs> fuck, you got the Christmas tree over top of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> bad, dude. Anything. Wake up with the you. dog on you. <laughs> have you ever you, have you ever blown up the bag from a box of wine and used that as a pillow? Uh, what? No. That's, That's pretty good, though. What That's are you, smart. his childhood friend? What yeah, the fuck is happening? Well, when you were riding here? the rails, that is yeah. crazy. Yeah, I fucking partied, dude. <laughs> And when you leave your knapsack in the other car? Yeah. <laughs> Holy oh my God. Shit, dude. That's a clutch move after a house Holy party. Shit. You ever stand around a fire and cook a can of beans? <laughs> <laughs> you ever, ever have the, hobo? You ever have the rail guards chase you out of the field? <laughs> that's fucking, what? that's next level you crazy. You blew up a bag of wine as a pillow? Yeah, and not only is this not a me move, it's like a ubiquitous party move, dude. Everybody easy, knows about Easy with the big words there, buddy. Yeah. I'm going to oh, take man. it as a fence. Huh? Yo, glass is that thick. You'd think you'd know him. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen that one coming, though. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Can you repeat it? I don't speak hobo. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> you know what? You're not getting that bike. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do it for that original price. <laughs> Gang, cousin Ian, ladies and gentlemen. This will be coming out this week, so plug plug your dates. What do you got? Yes. Where are you going to be? Uh, this week as in... This is coming out. It'll be out Thursday. I love it. April 1st and 2nd, Vermont Comedy Club. Come on out. Burlington, Vermont. Headline the weekend. I'm bringing Jordan Jensen with me. It's going to be a blast. Vermont, go see Ian. He's yes. a murderer. He's the best. Thank we love you. him. Thank I you. Animal69, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Sopranos, Prima Volta, and bye, guys. And Every don't episode. feed him because he'll never leave. That's right. Kippy, what do we got? With me. Uh, guys, gonna Cali? we're going to be in Cali this week. LA is sold out, but there's tickets uh, for La the Jolla. Com- La Jolla Comedy Store as well as Cobb's Comedy in San, F- or sorry, SF. I want to be cool. Then oh. Pittsburgh, Detroit. Denver, Buffalo. Can he do it? We'll be back in Chicago. Chicago, Rosemont, Chicago. There's only a couple tickets left for the Old Town Show, so fucking get oh, them. Zanies is great. Uh, yeah, we'll be at Rosemont as well. Uh, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Phoenix, and Denver. Woo! And we're Can't wait to get more to Denver. dates. Get your fucking tickets. Come out to a live show. Also, we've been forgetting to plug it. It's been available. There's merch available. Ah. Uh, all the t-shirts we've ever had are available. Bonfire.com backslash are you garbage? Wow. Something along those lines. It'll be in the description. You can go get them. People have been clamoring for All it. the classics. Yes. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Adios.